This is going to be set up of the WISE Video Doorbell Pro. First, you're going to have to have your WISE app, which requires you to have an account. So if you don't have one, set one up. After which you open up the application and in the upper left-hand corner, we select the plus sign. We are going to say, add a device up at the top. And then you have choices. You have camera, sensor, power lighting, home, and lifestyle. This is a doorbell, but it is also a camera. So we select camera and then we scroll down and then we look for video doorbell pro. We select video doorbell pro and it's letting us know here's what we're looking at. So what we have to do first is press and hold the power button for five seconds on the back of the video doorbell pro. So here's our power button right here. One, two, three, four, five. Power on. So the directions have slightly changed because it said power on, that's flashing, but it did not give me a tone. But we're gonna hit next and see what happens. Giving you recommended placement from your Wi-Fi access point to the chime itself, to the actual doorbell. We're gonna hit next. So we're gonna plug in the chime right now and on the chime it's- Bluetooth is connected. The chime itself has a Wi-Fi indicator on the front of- to connect. Wi-Fi indicator on the front. It said Bluetooth connected, so it's connecting to my phone and it said ready to connect. So we're gonna hit next. I don't think we have to reset because the status light is flashing. So we're gonna say the status light is flashing and select next. It's going to allow access to my Bluetooth and it is searching for my doorbell, which might have actually powered itself off. So we're gonna, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try again because this probably powered itself off for power saving. So we're gonna give that a go again. There we go. And try again. And I think it worked that time. Gonna select which one we want. I like the fact that they show five gigahertz as a possible choice. We're gonna put this on my IoT network, put our password in really quick, select connect. Start connecting. And all that audio you might be hearing is coming from the actual chime itself. So we're gonna see it's gonna to connect to the WISE cloud, then add a device and then finish setup. So we'll see how long that actually takes. Connection fail, we're gonna retype our password. Start connecting. Give that a go again. Connection completed. All right, so connected to the cloud. There we go. You can see it popped up with my Alex A devices. Next, it's the time to install. So we can actually walk through the installation guide or skip it. Now, this is only the setup process, so we're not actually going to install it right now. This is going to be front door, but we're gonna call it front door number two, since I have the original WISE doorbell, continue. And then we have, why are we primarily using this device? So self-monitoring security, pet monitoring, baby monitoring, something else. Well, it's a doorbell, so I don't think we're doing baby monitoring or pet monitoring. Monitor my home security myself. Uh, I have a feeling this is new for the addition of new cameras. We're gonna select next. So here I have a free two week trial of Cam Plus because if you have a video doorbell from Wise, you're definitely going to want at least a Cam Plus subscription. So I'm going to select continue. You can share your device and then this has a firmware. So we're going to update our firmware and firmware can take anywhere from a minute to however long it takes. So I won't make you sit through that. Just know when you're updating your firmware, you see the light ring right there around the actual button is going to flash letting you know that it is updating the firmware. Firmware has been fully upgraded. That will complete setup for the WISE Video Doorbell Pro.